Hello everyone, this is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves and I am giving you a behind the scenes of me recording um, the show for the World Harvest Radio, which premieres Sunday nights. I want you to stay tuned, I will write now word for somebody. This is your moment of encouragement. A lot of people are hurting right now, so stay tuned. I believe the Holy Spirit will put something in my mouth for you guys. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves, and I'm excited about today's broadcast. I'm going to take you on a journey. We're going to talk about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and how there's no limitations with him. Now, a lot of people, you have uh, something in your life right now. Maybe as a situation that seems difficult, and it seems withered, it seems dried up, it seems overlooked. It seems crushed. You you may just in in a state of your life where you're just like, what's the point? I, I'm I'm so used to being like this, so you just settled. Well, I have a word for you today, and I'm gonna take you on a journey tonight. We're gonna be reading from Matthew 12 9 through 14. Matthew 12 9 to 14, and it talks about Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus, he went into the synagogue, the church or religious type settings. And when he went there, you know, there was a man who was crippled, you know, who was paralyzed or he was deformed. He was shriveled. But he, 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 there was a man there. He had a crippled hand, a paralyzed hand, a shriveled hand, whatever you want to say. He had a withered hand. His hand was like deformed. It wasn't normal. So many people right now, you are flawed. Many people right now, you seem like you got everything together, but it's that one thing in your life that you're asking God for a breakthrough. You know, here's this man, you know, he just got a crippled hand. Everything else is okay with him, but his hand is crippled, you know, and that one issue in your life is preventing you from being fully happy, tapping into the potential of your joy. Um, you know, it is weighing you down in life. You know, maybe a lot of people right now, you just feel weighed down in life. You just feel frustrated. You feel discouraged. You feel like giving up because you have a crippled hand. You know, I'm just saying this prophetically. Your hand may not be crippled in the natural, but it's something in your life that is causing you to be crippled. What do I mean crippled? I mean crippled because you're not tapping into the fullness of what God has for you. You're, you're not you're not even walking in your full capacity of joy. You're not even walking into your full capacity of peace. You're not even walking into your full capacity of prosperity upon your life because of that one deformity in your life. It could be financial problems. It could be a failed relationships. You know, it could be failed businesses. It could be sickness in your body. But I'm telling you, you know, when we have an encounter with God, uh, a touch from Jesus Christ, uh, your life will shift. So let's get back to the word and let's see what happened so you know so Jesus went to the synagogue and this man came and he had a crippled hand of deformity and they were looking for reasons to accuse you know Jesus put charges against Jesus so they asked him is it lawful to heal or cure people on the Sabbath day but Jesus already knew the tricks and schemes you know Jesus I'm telling you a lot of people have been attacked beyond attacked by the enemy but jesus had a heads up on the devil and he was recognizing what the devil was already plotting so he answered check out how he answered he he, he really was wise so jesus answered and said if any of you has a sheep and it falls into a ditch pit hole on a sabbath day will you not or would you not help grab it out you know out of the ditch you know, surely a human being is more important than a sheep. Surely a human being is much better than a person. So is it lawful? Is it permitted to do good things on the Sabbath day? That was Jesus Christ's answer. That sounds pretty good to me. That sounds pretty good. You know, a good comeback, right? You know, it sounds like he silenced the mouth of the enemy. So, and Jesus said to the man, and matter of fact, he did. They didn't even say anything. They didn't say anything, you know? So Jesus said to the man with the crippled hand of deformity, hold out your hand, stretch out your hand. So the man had faith and, you know, he obeyed Jesus Christ. Whatever God is telling you to do today, obey God, you know, so you can get your miracle, so you get your blessing, so you get your breakthrough. So um, Jesus said, hold out your hand. So the man held out his hand, you know, and guess what happened? You know, it was a miracle. 
So the man stretched out his, his hand and it became well again. It was restored. You know, it was like healthy, you know, just like the other hand. Come on now. Are you not catching this? There was a miracle. You know, I'm here to prophesy to you today to tell you. And I just feel the anointing on this word. That every deformity, every crippled issue in your life, financially, relationshiply, health-wise, you know, God is going to restore it. God is going to restore it. Amen. Just how the word of God says it should be. Just how the word of God says it should be. Amen. You know, the word of God tells us that he wish above all things that we be in health, that we prosper and be in good health. Amen. So prosperity is ours. Health and healing is ours. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be in lack. You know, you should be prosperous in all areas of your life. You know, um, come to me that your joy can be full. Come to me. All those are heavy and uh, labored and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. I will give you rest, says Jesus Christ in his word. So it was a miracle. The man stretched out his hand and it became restored. You know, and the Pharisees, the people that try to challenge Jesus, is it not lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? They left and they made plans to plot and conspire to kill or destroy Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm here to tell you today that the enemy is going to get mad and he's going to hate, you know, how God will bless you. But the blessing that God has for you. There's nothing that nobody can do. There's nothing the enemy can do. The blessing that God has for you, there's nothing can stop your miracle come from coming forth. There's nothing that can stop the restoration that God has promised you from coming forth. You know, these Pharisees, these religious leaders try to oppose with Jesus Christ they tried to stop actually the man's miracle but you know maybe you're like the man with the withered hand the, the deformity you know maybe you're like him and you're desperate and then it's like the enemy trying to oppose you maybe you're having some resistance but I'm here to tell you today that we serve a true living God he has heard your supplications he has heard your prayers and he is on the scene for you you know so that sign of opposition is not going to stop what God has for you because he has a miracle with your name on it. He literally has a miracle with your name on it. You know, matter of fact, it's, it's a divine time and a divine moment for you, for your miracle, for your breakthrough. The fact that Jesus Christ went in the synagogue the same time that cripple, that, that man with the crippled hand was in the synagogue, that was a divine moment appointed by God. You know that that man was in the right place at the right time to get his miracle. I don't know how long this man had a crippled hand, but you know, God knows. But what that man did, he st stretched out his faith and he came to Jesus. So a lot of people today, stretch out your faith today. Come to Jesus Christ. Maybe you have a relationship with him. You know, well, maybe it's time to go deeper. Maybe it's time to go higher and just repent and just focus on Jesus. You know, I'm telling you because he will get you through every deformity situation in your life, every uh, wilderness season, every, I'm telling you, every impossibility. Maybe you're being paralyzed. You know, that man's hand was crippled. It was paralyzed. He couldn't even use it. Maybe you have like a crippled hand situation. This is prophetic. Catch this. You know, that's keeping you paralyzed, keeping you bound, keeping you in fear, uh, keeping you stagnant where you can't go forward. I'm here to tell you that your divine moment is here. Your divine appointment is is here you know one encounter with the lord jesus christ can change your life your life will never be the same one encounter with god your life will never be the same this man encountered jesus christ his life was never the same you know how how, how long has this man had a crippled hand you know and and one touch from jesus christ you know, when Jesus Christ, he, he spoke to his hand and he commanded his hand to be restored. His life changed forever. You know, God can speak in your life as his prophet. I can speak in your life and things can shift and things can change in your life. And your life can be restored today. Certain areas of your life can be restored today. Certain areas that were crippled and deformed, uh, it can be restored today. But just one word, one word from God, one word from God. Hallelujah. So the, the point of this, I'm going to sum this up. 
hallelujah, because I'm running out of time. You know, do not let the enemy, the distractions, the cares of this life stop you from getting what you need from God. Do not let anything stop you from getting your blessings. Stop you from getting your miracle. It is time to put a demand on God. It is time to say, God, I'm tired of living like this god it's not my it's not your will god for me to live like this it's not your will god for me to have a, a deformity in my life god lord god when i'm serving you god when i'm doing everything right lord god lord god it is not your will father god i know you got better for me i know i want you to stretch out your faith today and believe god believe on jesus christ you know and maybe some of y'all out there listening, don't even know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But this word bless you. Maybe feel the Lord tugging on your heart today. I want you to uh, open up your heart and just receive, receive, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I'm telling you, you know, I, I can't, I can't promise you, hallelujah, that, uh, that you'll never have to go through anything. But what I can promise you that you have someone, you're going to get somebody today to empower you in life, to strengthen you in life, to give you peace in life, to give you courage in life, to give you boldness in life, to give you power in life, to give you authority in life. That's what I can promise you today. Are you ready for your life to shift? Are you ready? For your life to change today. I want you to touch. And I want you to agree with me. On this prayer that I'm getting ready to read. You know. I'm telling you. I've been broken. I've been lied on. I've been walked over. I've been taken advantage of. But I'm here to tell you. Through it all. I have the son of the living God. Jesus Christ. You know, I thank God for his fire, his power that rests upon my life, that anointing to get me through the tough times. A lot of people, you're going through tough times and you feel alone, you feel forsaken, you feel like nobody loves you, nobody cares. I'm here to tell you, I want you to look at this. Jesus is your best friend. He is my best friend. He is the only, only reliable person. I call him a person, that's right, in my life. Because people can say all kinds of things like, yeah, we're going to be this at the end, blah, blah, blah. And then they can change their mind the next day and then leave out your life. But Jesus Christ is your best friend. So you're not alone. Somebody's hurting right now. You're not alone. Okay? So I want you to touch and agree with me. So, Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Romans 10, 9 says, because if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead I will be saved Lord I make you Lord and Savior of my life I desire to have a relationship with you I confess my sins wash me in your blood in Jesus name amen so if you pray that prayer today I want to welcome you to the body of Christ and know that the angels in heaven are rejoicing over you. The next step, I want you to get connected to a local body, a, a, a local church in your area and have someone lay hands on you or pray with you so you can get the indwelling, the filling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because that is your power. That's going to give you the strength to continue to um, live this walk. Amen. So I will see you guys next week for the next broadcast. God bless you. So that was a behind the look, uh, behind the scenes um, of the show for World Harvest Radio, which premieres Sunday night. And you can have access to that show if you just go to my website, click on events. You know, you'll see the flyer that says bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ to South America. And you'll see the link. You have access to that show for Sunday nights. So I hope this blessed you. Um, please sow into this work. You know, in South America, they don't, a lot, they're mostly Catholics down there, are shaman. You know, they believe in a witch doctor. 
it's not a lot of christianity down there so they need the gospel you know they really need the gospel like in america it's a lot of christians and stuff like that but not like it is in north america excuse me is a uh, it's a lot of christianity or a lot of christians excuse me but not in south america you know so these people are hurting and they really need god amen so please sew into this work um i'm still in need of twenty one hundred dollars so I'm believing that somebody out there is watching and can sow an uncommon seed today so we can get this broadcast taken care of. Amen. So I love you guys. God bless you. And please, you know, if you know a sinner, please just share the video with somebody. Maybe you're somebody in your family backslid. You know, the anointing is here. You don't know how this word, this message can change somebody's life. So be blessed. I love you guys. God bless.